co-workers. Good ones can make your day at work bearable or maybe even fun. Bad ones can make you want to stick your head in the fryer. And I'm not talking about the head on your shoulders. If you've ever been employed somewhere before, then you know that co-workers can make or break a job. I've probably worked more jobs than the average 26 year old, so I have seen many of them come and go. Today I will present you with a list of 5 different co-workers that you might have worked with. And if one of your co-workers fits into one of these categories, please share this video with them. And if they don't hate you after that, then you are free to like and subscribe as well. Number 5. The Gossiper. You ever mess up at work? You just broke up with your significant other? You're having family troubles? You're getting gossiped about. This person loves to gossip. They will always be peeping at your phone to see if your ex has snapchatted you or something. Any little crumb of information that they can get to use against you. I swear this lady only works this job just so she can gossip about her co-workers and bosses. Oh, you hear that Jessica got back with her ex right after his dad drove over her cat. Can you believe that? Isn't this your first day here? How do you know that? Number 4. The coolest person you'll ever meet for 8 months. This person comes into your life and vanishes just as quickly as they arrived. Something about the energy they give off just screams, cool. Maybe they have a cool hobby or side business that just makes you insanely jealous, or they just have the friendliest and coolest personality. Any day that you work with them is the highlight of your entire week, and before you know it, they're gone. Off to their next cool adventure. This is the person that you think about a few years later and wonder what cool things they've been up to. And that person is you. Number three is the hardest working person alive. Depending on your job, you may have a lot of lazy people. But from my experience, there's always one person who's constantly putting their body and mind on the line for the job. And it is rarely the manager, let me tell you. This person is always going full speed no matter how busy it is. They only have two speeds, squirrel on crack and unemployed. They're usually really nice, but somehow never get promoted. Probably because the managers know that they don't do shit, and if they lose them as a worker, nothing will get done. Social commentary. Number two, that person twice or maybe even thrice your age that you're best friends with. Employment is crazy. You could be a 20 year old kid who loves heavy metal, plays every video game, and has the weirdest sense of humor that the internet can forge. But one of your best friends at work will be a 45 year old southern lady who only watches Hallmark movies and looks at minion memes in her free time. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't have to. Maybe y'all just both hate the same boss and that's all it takes to make someone your friend. Brian and Betsy BFFs forever. Number 1. Casper the Friendly Ghost Now this person is a good buddy of yours at work. You always talk to them, you have at least 5 inside jokes going, and you play the same video games. This is pretty much a full on friend you got here. So you say to them, hey, we should hang out outside of work. We can go to the bar and grab some drinks, play some games, and have a good time. Yeah, totally, bro. We are going to chill tonight. We are going to get lit AF and stop these scrubs online, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Radical, dude. See you tonight. Hours go by. No text, no nothing. Hit them up. No response. You both show up to work the next day. Casper will always have some kind of excuse. Oh, sorry, it's my hamster's wedding. I couldn't hit you up. Sorry, man. Maybe next time. This cycle will last forever until you eventually hang out once, just to say that you did, and then almost never again. And yeah, this this person is uh, this, this person's also me sometimes. Thank you, everyone, who made it to the end of this video. Please let me know in the comments if there's any kind of coworkers that I missed. These videos are always a ton of fun to make, but they do take forever to finish. So I'd really appreciate it if you shared this video with your friends and your coworkers, and then maybe even subscribed. I do have a Patreon if you'd like to support me even further, since I'm not getting anything from YouTube right now. You don't have to, just watching and subscribing is always extremely helpful and I really appreciate it. Thank you all the loyal goosers who have been commenting on my videos this past month. I love you all. Was that too soon? Yeah, probably. But it's okay.